What's up, YouTube? Um, it's your girl Skip Got Cakes back with another review. Uh, this one, so today is my watch broke, but today is August 31st. So, um, just to give you a little background, we had um, Sneaker Con in Detroit on Saturday the 29th. It was a great day, and you guys know I purchased the Bordeaux like early, like about a week ago exactly. I got the um, six lows chromes on Saturday and I also found I had a pickup at sneaker kind of what I thought was for me a grail the um, black infrared sixes and so also last week um, Nike did a restock on grade school shoes so if you watch my channel you know I've been trying to <clears throat> get basically the whole like uh, set of Jordans 1 through 14 at some point and I, I'm not necessarily trying to get them all this year although sometimes I have to pump the brakes on myself and I haven't been but um, my goal was to get all 1 through 14, at least one pair. So, Nike had a restock um, on the Black Toe 14s. And personally, those are the only ones that I actually like um, in their OG. I like those, and I like the Sport Blue uh, 14s. But, <clears throat> you know, I, like I told you guys, if it's not a silhouette that I think is, like, one of my favorite that I can rock in a lot of colors, I try to keep it OG. And they came out with these as a restock, so... I had to do it, y'all. I had to do it. I promised my husband, so he's not making me take my chrome scissors back. But um, I'm going to try to get the Chicago ones this year, and then that'll pretty much be it, unless there's like a must-have pair of fours, which I heard the breads are coming out, or a must-have pair of twelves uh, that come out this year. I'm probably going to take it easy and uh, just chill out, because I think my collection is up up there pretty high, about 20, 21 maybe now with these. So let me get into this review. Um, y'all are seeing it with me for the first time at the same time, so maybe a little longer, but bear with me. Uh, this is the Air Jordan 14 Retro Boys Grade School BG. The official colorway is white, black, varsity red, and metallic silver. And I got this straight off of Nike.com. So you don't see any uh, retail tag or nothing like that. There's my receipt. I have to do a quick see. I'm going to come try to take my shoes. Um, <clears throat> So let's get the drum. So right out the box, um, I just take out one shoe for now. Actually, I take them both out. Right out of the box, I see some uh, some imperfections on the shoe. Again, I've never been one to really trip a lot about the imperfections um, on the shoes because they're gonna be worn. I'm wearing, I plan on wearing every one of my kicks in a good rotation. But um, you know, when you paying a hundred something dollars for a pair of shoes, you want it to be nice and you want it to be quality. Uh, this shoe feels a little heavier than I, I expected it to. Um, maybe it has something to do with some of the materials there, but here it is. Black Toe 14. Um, the 14 is definitely not one of my favorite silhouettes. Let me get, you know, I like to do a manual focus for y'all. There you go. Uh, the 14 is not one of my favorite silhouettes, um, which is why I always said that if I got one, I would try to get it OG. Unless some color came out that I thought was just an absolute must. Um, when I first saw the 14 and like really paid attention, the first time I saw them was with it, when MJ Warman his last shot. But to be honest with you, I didn't even notice that he had these on because he went and changed. On um, the last shot, he was wearing the black and red 14s. Um, and he went and changed. This is how much of a genius he, <clears throat> he is. He went and changed into the 14s from the 13 so that y'all can get, so he could uh, help build the hype up for these jokers for his last shot. And um, I'm not a big fan of it. I never really liked the tongue on the shoe. I think it's kind of silly, uh, not wide enough. Um, and I think it makes it um, such that you have to wear it with only certain pants um, and maybe some shorts and stuff like that. But you got to be careful with how you wear it. To me, in my opinion, you got to be really smart about how you wear these. Um, <clears throat> nothing special on the lace tips or anything like that. Uh, you see this one I guess is supposed to be designed after like one of his favorite cars, a Ferrari, so it kind of looks car-like. And it's got the uh, Jordan logo here, similar to the way the Ferrari logo is. <clears throat> uh, but I think these are really nice. I think these will look very nice with jeans, um, especially some black jeans. I saw uh, a young lady wearing them with leggings. I wear a lot of leggings. Um, but you definitely see some imperfections in the paint. You know, here. And then here as well just like you know some of the black uh, I guess it's a suede or new bug has kind of spilled over a little bit <coughs> the rope laces you got your Jordan right there 
um, decent shoe. Like I said, not not a must-have for me. Um, it's something that I wanted to have to complete my collection. I got it. Um, see the bottom. Right. Um, it's cool. Apparently, there's supposed to be uh, seven, seven jump mans on each shoe to total up to 14. That's kind of cute. Um, it's cool. I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm going to rock it, and I'm happy that I got it. I'm always happy to get a new pair of kicks. Um, so I'm, I'm going to hit you guys with the on foot. Let me know you know, if there's some more details you want to know about these, but most of the time people just want to see them on foot. So I'm going to give you guys that. Um, <clears throat> I got on a pair of like uh, jogger-like pants today, so y'all can see them with those on. Here's the other, the other shoe. All right. I told you I got construction going on in my house. They're redoing my basement bathroom, so it's noisy, so I'm going to kill it. But uh, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for all my subscribers. Thank you people for your feedback. I really appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up. Or a thumbs down, if that's what it is. Hit that and let me know. Um, and I'll holler at you guys.